So as we're walking around the house, one of the things we're looking for are air sealing issues. And one of the most typical is from plumbing. So under a sink, you're going to look. In this case, the plumbing goes through the wall. Sometimes it goes through the floor. It's pretty tight here. You pull this back. You can't see it with the camera so much, but my feel, finger can feel it. It's pretty tight. Couldn't hurt to put a little cock around there, but it is pretty tight. I've seen some with big holes, and that's a, a very big leakage area. Similarly, where the toilet comes in. Same thing. It's pretty good, but sometimes there's a big hole. So anywhere where plumbing comes in the house. I always recommend before you start using caulk and great stuff and other things, put on your work clothes. Maybe it's some old clothes that you paint with, but I've ruined many, many pairs of good clothing because I thought, oh, I'll never make a mess. And then you do. So I'm going to put this on first and then I'll show you what I want to do. So if you've never done caulking before, just quick little demo. You buy the tube, it looks like this. This is a brand that's a bit more expensive. It's a pretty good brand. If you buy the really cheap stuff, it doesn't last very long, so I wouldn't recommend that. And then you need to buy a cock gun. They look basically like this. And if you're really not doing much and you don't, I mean, they don't cost much. They're a few dollars. Um, but you can buy cock in a squeeze tube. It's just not nearly as efficient or as cheap. So you put it in. You cut the tip off and then you push this in as much as it goes. This is going a lot because I've used this tube a fair bit. Um, and that's it. Now, if you're trying to do cock to keep the job clean, one of the things you want with you while you're doing it is a damp cloth. Just damp, not squeeze it. It shouldn't be water coming out. Just a nice damp cloth because cock is water soluble. And before it's dried up, you can clean up your mess and make it look much more professional. Let me show you. So when you're air sealing, another reason to use caulk is when the hole is small enough that caulk could easily fill it, it's, for one thing, easier to use, it's much cleaner, and great stuff actually won't work well when the crack is too small because if it doesn't get inside that crack before it starts expanding, it doesn't really seal it. So if you can, use caulk. I'm going to demonstrate on a couple of plumbing penetrations how to do that. So you get it up in there. Cock's very easy to clean up too. I don't mind using my fingers without a glove because... So I did that. Now I'm going to make sure all of it's covered by just going around. One of the reasons you want to use caulk is for places where you want it to look good and be unobtrusive, like in a finished basement where you can actually see this edge. I'm going to show you, this is the sill. You remember we've talked about the sill and this edge between the wooden sill and the concrete block should be sealed. And this house is quite tight already. So there you see, I've just done a little bit, but then I take my wet, my damp cloth, and I rub it down. And there you go. It's barely visible, but now you've air sealed that area of the sill. Here, again, in the, in, in the original state of this house, when this basement was unconditioned, you wouldn't really bother sealing this, but now it's conditioned. This is the drywall that's attached to the framing of the outer wall. So it's fairly quick and easy to seal this up. I can hang that there. Oh. 